hurt? I said, thank God. Why? Because we can handle it. Because we will overcome. Everything is okay, but he's alive. We earned our son back. He survived a blast of shrapnel to the face and neck. No, he's only 21. He got hurt. He saw some of his friends got killed in front of him. He lost five friends from his group. What is going to happen to him? He doesn't want his face shown because he's insisting on finishing his mission. Helping complete Israel's objective of blowing apart the Hamas tunnel network that it says can be used to strike inside Israel. In another hospital, another wounded soldier who could talk, telling us detonating tunnels underground is extremely detailed work fraught with dangers in Hamas territory. We saw them carrying RPGs, Kalashnikovs, and grenades, he says. When we arrive to the tunnel entry, we isolate the area so we can work on it, but there is always danger. Revealing only his first name, Ron tells us he found himself in the crosshairs of a sniper. A bullet mangled his hand, hit his hip, thigh, and stomach. The frequent injuries that we see here in this emergency room, which already had uh, more than 100 uh, soldiers pass through here, is injuries to the extremities. Amputations? Amputations, open fractures, damage to the major vessels. While the families gather here at the southern Israeli hospital to worry over their soldiers who have been injured, what they're talking about is a soldier who was captured, their worst nightmare. I'm thinking about this soldier. I'm thinking about his parents. You know, it's, it's hurt us. Even we don't know him. But Palestinians say their pain and suffering is much greater. More than 1,600 people have been killed, mostly civilians, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry in Gaza. Israeli soldiers say they try to avoid civilians, but admit it's a war out there. Unfortunately, civilians will be harmed. Hamas is using children and civilians. They hide weapons in mosques and in schools. They shoot at us from civilian areas. Hamas, for its part, makes clear it should come as no surprise that Israeli soldiers are targets while stalking tunnels and killing Palestinian people in a territory that is not their own. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Ashkelon, Israel.